Hi everybody. Today I'm going to show you an experiment I made, um, something I call trineural beats. Now I'm sure you've heard of binaural beats, which um, are pretty famous for this, these like meditative sounds. They claim it's it's supposed to produce different brain states, such as alpha waves, and uh, which could, you know, help with concentration or meditation. So I I created max patch here which um, makes binaural beats so on one side I have 410 Hertz and on the other side I have 412 Hertz and this is difference in frequencies when one is played into the uh, right outlet which will be on this side and the other in the left outlet will produce a difference of frequencies which will then translate into a difference different state, a different brain state. This is called uh, brainwave synchronization. So I have two graphs here to just display it. This is an oscilloscope and this is a spectroscope. And um, yeah, so there's two oscillators here and each one of these produces a pure tone. And you'll see how it works in a second when I turn this on. So now you can see, this is the beat itself. This is, when you refer to binaural beats, this is the beat right here. And if I change one side, see here's one frequency and there's the other. But if you get close together, bring it down. Let's just move this, it's slightly blocking. Okay. So the closer you get, and we can get really close, like a decimal plays close, the slower the beats are. And here, let me turn that off. I find when they get really close, it kind of produces a psychological effect in me almost similar to um, if you're on a boat you're getting seasick it's just like oh <laughs> it's the best way I could describe it so anyway um, that's binaural beats now um, what I did now is add one more frequency which is fed through both sides so it's I kind of describe this as it acts as a modulator. Now, that's just fancy for saying that um, it changes the sound. It adds adds a new adds a new kind of dimension to the sound. So, here I'll show you what I I do for that. I'll just copy and paste one more oscillator, bring it up here, and feed it through these two. So I'll turn it on, and <laughs> as you can see, when I just put it to 26 hertz, it creates like a, an extra wobbly effect. You see that? Now, So what is this doing? Um, again, it's modulating the two other sine waves. So if I increase it much higher, it produces what is called, what is known as sidebands. So it widens the sound and um, kind of deep. <laughs> so what are the implications? What, why, why would this be important? Um, tell the truth, I don't know. <laughs> but uh, 
it seems that by adding this third frequency, it um, yeah adds a whole new dimension to this binaural beat, and perhaps through um, modulating, creating sidebands, it will uh, produce other psychological effects, which could be even more beneficial for concentration or meditative states. So if you have anything by watching this you'd like to add, please let me know. Um, again, I'm just kind of experimenting with this. I'd like, and through experimenting, I'm hoping to discover more about um, adding this third frequency and uh, what results will happen as a, re as a result of this. Okay, thanks for watching and uh, have a good day.